The Wedding Bees is the story of a somewhat mysterious woman from the American South who arrives in Manhattan with nothing but a starter hive of bees and an insistence on good manners. And what she does is she uses her bees and her honey to help somewhat cranky and eccentric other occupants of her apartment building. I went on a tour of the US with my husband, a road trip, and we went to, started in New York, which is my favorite city in all the world. I know I'm not alone there. And then we went on a trip through the American South. And at the end of this trip, which was about six weeks, and I wasn't actually writing anything, I was just being, enjoying, <laughs> having a wonderful time. But at the end of this wonderful time, I wrote a list of six things that on that particular day made me happy. And the list was this, it was love, friendship, New York, the South, manners, and honey. And that was basically the recipe for the wedding bees. I feel very much a citizen of the world. I love being, I love being at home, but I, I really love being somewhere else. And of all the somewhere else's, I love being in New York the most. I think it's the most vibrant, amazing, wonderful, alive city. And every time I go there, even from the airport, by the time I've gotten the taxi and gone from the airport into Manhattan, I've had a hundred ideas. But the actual writing of a book requires an awful lot, hours and hours and weeks and months of actually typing. For me, the main thing I need when I'm actually writing is, is quiet. So a, a, lot of the writing is, um, a lot of the writing is done here at Murawai. People often ask what the most difficult thing about writing is, and it's actually sitting down and doing it, because having ideas is wonderful <laughs> and glamorous, and you can do that wherever you like. I'm totally allergic to the computer. I spend half the time wanting to throw it out the window. <laughs> but for somewhere like Murawai, which is very far away from the ideas I'm having, but it's very hooked into the work that I'm doing, this beautiful walk right from our house down through a Nikau forest to the beach, and you can, the dog and I walk up and down the beach. And quite often I'll start a walk with a problem I need to solve in the book. And by the time I've come back, I've not only had a bit of fresh air and countryside, but I've solved the problem as well, so it's good all round. I can't remember where my passion for honey started, to be perfectly honest, but I've always had it. I, 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 re I blame Winnie the Pooh, I honestly do. Look, I cannot keep my paw out of the honey jar. And my husband actually calls me Bulby as a, as a um, nickname, which stands for Bear of Little Brain, which was uh, Winnie the Pooh's nickname as well. I played Winnie the Pooh actually in a school play when I was 15. <laughs> And my mum found a hat that I wore the other day, I'm ashamed to say, and my nephews took a photo wearing it. Um, so, yeah, it's all about Winnie.